thank god viewers once again we are so 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 excited to share our experiences with you this time around i have a sister by the names of lydia wairimu she's going to share her wonderful experience of how god delivered her and her son from the powers of darkness uh, this time around, I want to encourage every parent to sit with their children and listen to this testimony because I know it's going to help you. It's going to enlighten you. You're going to understand that life is spiritual. And without wasting a lot of time, I just want to, to uh, allow my sister share her experience. Sister, you're welcome. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, kindly Please. introduce yourself. Praise God. My mm. name is Lydia Wiremu. Mm. I'm a born again Christian, mm. a single mom of one, mm. and I am living this life because of God. Wow. Mm. So um, I believe there are so there are some people are asking what what happened to Sister Lydia. Yeah, kindly share your experience. Well, uh, I'll begin by saying sometimes when you want to share. Or give your testimony is because you want to become a witness of Christ mm. and that's why I came I was inspired by your story mm. and so I'll begin even when you check the book of Acts chapter 13 verse 15 mm. there's a part that says brothers and sisters mm. we want you to speak to the people if you have a message of encouragement for them mm. and that's why I'm here mm. uh, my story is about uh, how I employed a house girl Mm. and she later she would had come to my house to ruin as an agent. me yes mm. as a de de she was working for the devil mm. so i invited her i invited her to my house to work mm. for me mm. and i'll begin with how it went mm. so uh, i had just been employed mm. i was doing very well mm. uh, but i didn't have a girl who could assist me with the baby with the baby mm. So I prayed and I asked God to bring somebody who would assist me so that I can be able to go to work. Mm. And how I had gotten that job, I had prayed for it and mm. God gave me a job. And I had promised God that I would want to serve him and I would be going to church. Mm. But where I used to live, there was no church. Mm. But uh, I realized later, just around, there was a church that was coming up. Mm. And I told God, I'm so grateful because the church is just in the nearby and I'll be attending to the services. Mm. I started going to that church. Mm. I still had not found a house girl and I was supposed to report to, to, to my workplace immediately. Mm. And I needed this house girl as soon as I could. Mm. And so uh, 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 as I was attending services, I met with this woman in the church who told me I can give you a house girl mm. or I can show you somebody who can work for you but they'll also not stay but they can work for you for some time mm. and that's how I found this lady mm. and she pro when I went when I found her on a Sunday she promised she would come that evening so mm. I waited for her together with my son and when she came we welcomed her mm. and to me she seemed very peaceful, like a very honest mm. and a good person. And more so, she prayed. Mm. So I knew now I'm dealing with a godly person. Mm. And uh, my, my, my baby also fell in love with her yeah. immediately. She saw she seemed very nice and she was calm. Mm. And that's how it started. Mm. So that evening, we slept. But when it came to the morning of that, of, of, of Monday now, that was on Sunday, the morning of Monday, mm. around three, mm. my son had fever. Mm. That's strange. Yes, mm. because during the day, the boy had not shown any signs of sickness. He was very okay. He was very okay. And before, uh, previously, before the house help came, mm -hmm. the boy was not sick. The boy was not sick. Okay. Mm. This is back in 2016. Mm. So uh, the following morning, I did not take much to ask her because already the, the, the baby was well. Mm. So it's something I can see. It's it the would fever. happen in the night. Yes, the fever happened from three mm. to around five in the morning. 
So we woke up, I prepared the boy and he seemed well and mm. he, we went to school and I also prepared myself and went to work. Mm. So I left the girl in the house. Mm. So it happened in like three consecutive days. So every morning around three, I would fight, I would feel all, I would feel my son producing some salt mm. and he, 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 he has some fever. Mm. And I could not understand because during the day he is well and come around three, the ungodly hour, the boy is sick. Mm. So for me, it disturbed me as a parent. And I even asked the girl, you know, you, you are born again. You are, I can see you are very prayerful, mm. but something is unusual because at around three, since you stepped here, the baby has been falling sick, falling sick for mm. three consecutive days. Mm. So when I inquired, the girl, I think, became afraid and she also the business that she was doing then eh, mm. she stopped for some time she relaxed a little bit yes mm. i hope parents are learning mm. so uh, i would say i was not so much into god then i didn't know god mm. and i was not very spiritual but through this experience is when now i'm getting also to, to talk to this god Mm. I didn't know God at all. Though I was brought up in a Christian background, I didn't mm. know God in, on a personal level. Mm. But now this girl is here. And for me, she was serving me well. The house is clean. The baby is well fed, well mm. kept. Everything is well. Mm. And things are running on a normal way. Mm. So I remember one morning I woke up. And while I was preparing, you know, it was a small house. So she's the, the mattress is just in the middle of the house. And our bed is one, and we have a few chairs. It was just a, a one, can you say one, one room, mm. a self-contained room because a bed everything, sitter. yes, a bed sitter because everything is there. Mm. So the, the girl was sleeping there, my baby, uh, me and my baby were sleeping there. Mm. That time the boy was three years, so he had just begun school. Mm. And on, on that Monday morning, well, I, before I went to work, Mm. I, I, I saw, I went to cook to prepare something for the boy before going to work and I saw something stuck on the sufuria. And it's a sufuria that I rarely use it. Sufuria is so, saucepan. Yeah. So she, you, you saw something. Yes. Mm. It was a picture of an oil mm. on the sufuria. Mm. Stuck on the sufuria. Wow. Still, I cannot understand what is happening. So I called the girl. You were using this sufuria the other day. Mm. So how comes this picture of an oil is stuck on the sufuria? Mm. And she told me, maybe you bought the, the, that, the, the sufuria with that, that picture, picture of an oil. Mm. But to me, it did not make sense because it's a sufuria. I have used it for some time. Mm. So my, I ignored and I, we kept on living well. There mm. was nothing alarming and the baby also got well. And our lives continued normally. Mm. But there was a time the teacher called me from mm. school mm. and told me, have you, have, I have noticed your son mm. has started to behave in a funny way. He's a bit confused mm. and you need to talk to him mm. or you come to school and tell us what is happening at home. Mm. So for me, when I came home that night, I, I, I was just paying attention to my son and I could not see any abnormal behavior. Mm. But the, the, the next day is when, after work, when I came to fight him with the, the lady, she told, the, the, the boy told me she had seen, he had seen a snake in the house, under wow. the bed. Mm. And mom, have you ever seen a snake? I have seen a snake. He was very excited because mm. he's young. Mm. This is a snake. Mm. And the girl is still there. So I too asked the girl, what do you mean that my son has seen a snake? Oh, where is this snake? And the girl said, no, the snake, we were watching the cartoons. And it happened around thrice, eh? three, three times. times. Yeah. Three times it happened. The boy is seeing a snake. Mm. So I also didn't take it seriously. Remember, um, um, I am praying the normal prayers of a Christian, but mm. I'm not deeply into godly matters. Mm. So I did not take it seriously. We continued living. Mm. But then still in school, things became worse because the teacher is telling me the boy cannot concentrate and he's always focusing on the roof and turning his eyes. Mm. 
Mm. So he, he, there, there are some distractions. Yes. Still, I could not figure out. Mm. But uh, remember, there's also the church that we are attending, mm. the services. There's that church where we would attend our service. Mm. The church that I told God I will join mm. once you... he gives me this job. Mm. And now he has given me this job. So I have to honor the promise that I made. So we kept on going to church. I cannot clearly say the church. Mm. It's okay. It's okay. Mm. You don't need to. Yes. Mm. <laughs> I, I continue, continued going to church, but there were things which were very unusual in that church. Mm. And for me, I could not even pay the tithe. Just something would come up, I could not pay the tithe. Mm. Or offering. There was some, something that made me not to do so. Mm. And even I, because it was a small church, the, the pastor could notice, notice you're yeah. not making your tithe. You're not giving offering. You're not giving offering. Remember, you said you you testified that you got this job, mm. and you're not now paying the tithe. You're not paying w the offering. Were they that bold to come and ask you why you're not paying your tithe? No, he he did not mm. come to ask. Mm. What happened? He preached a sermon, and it was about you. Yes, and I felt that it was targeting me mm. because he said, "You know, I can even say you die and die." You are not paying your tithe. It's wrong even in the eyes of God. And for me, when I went home, I told my, my, my house guard, I don't feel well going to this church because if a, a, a pastor can talk so That's harshly right. about somebody who is not making the tithe, mm. he doesn't know why. why. Mm. And... He has not even called me as a believer mm. closer to talk to me about paying your, my tithe or offering. So I'll not be going to that church. Mm. And since that day, I never stepped again in that church. Mm. But the girl continued to insist, Mama Asha, you need to be going. You need to, 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 to just ignore him and continue. But I told her I'm not at peace. Mm. So just give me also some space. And I think about my life and I see where God else will take me. Mm. Because this is not what I wanted. Mm. I want to grow, but I don't want to be harassed about matters with God. Mm. Remember, I don't know God. I'm just a beginner. Mm. But, and here somebody is harassing you. So for mm. me, I do not take it lightly. And so I stopped going to church. Mm. So the girl, I think so. Like, I gave her an avenue now for whatever she had planned to do in my house. So she, the, girl, the girl now started operating in another way that even myself I could not understand. Because anytime I, I come home, there are unusual things happening. Hmm. Accidents. Sometimes I'm, I, can, I could fall from hmm. the bathroom. Hmm. And sometimes when we are seated in the, in the sitting room, and you know, the bed sitter, the, the chairs are here and the kitchen is there. Mm. And we are seated. The room is very quiet. And you feel some movements. Mm. And the utensils are falling falling apart. Mm. And when I look, you know, for a normal person, would say, Shindwe. For, for me, I would also say, Shindwe. What's mm. that? Mm. And the girl would look at me. Mm. So these are things that happened. Mm. But I didn't know what was happening. So mm. when I gave her the first salary, is when now a spirit of drunkenness was transferred to me. you. Yes. Mm. And the I, day you gave her your salary, the day I her gave salary. Her, her salary. Mm. So after for some like a week, mm. I started drinking. I would drink. Now, okay, it became a habit where I'm drinking and coming home late. Mm. And so I'm leaving almost. So after work, after even coming home, I would change and go and drink. Mm. And remember, I'm not going to church. Though I'm praying a bit of the prayers I was taught, I was not so deep. And mm. now she's the one who, who has most of the time with the baby. Mm. And I think now that's where she started getting my son slowly into her world. She sent a spirit of drunkenness yes, to you. Yes. So that she can divert you mm. and now concentrate on the boy. Yes. Wow. So uh, now I'm drinking, I'm coming home late. But there, I had a Bible 
mm. I would put it on my bed. Mm. But for me, I, I was doing it as a as a as a habit mm. of maybe you would feel like it's protecting me when it's there. Mm. Even if I'm not praying when it's there, I would feel so much contented. And so the Bible was there. So I it, I, I kept on drinking. I'm coming home, sleeping, praying a little, waking up, the routine, that routine. And I remember one night I came home and I slept. I was so drunk. I slept. I, I, I slept. And at night in the middle of the, or around three, mm. I was woken up by some light in my room, a very fierce light. Even me, I cannot explain about that light. Mm. And I woke up the girl and I asked her, can you see the light? And she told me no. And then I asked her, what could be happening? There's so much strong light coming from the wall mm. and it's not a place where you can see the light. Mm. And we did not pay, talk much or even think it. there was a big deal to that light. So I went back to sleep. The morning we, she woke, we woke up, prepared the baby. Now she had put the baby now. The baby, they were very close. Mm. But I remember... How close were they? They were very tight. <laughs> uh, oh. Even the boy would tell her some, most of the things that I find myself, the boy could not communicate to me. But mm. she would communicate to the girl. To the, uh, mm. And us, we could not have enough time, eh? Mm. to talk because you are working yes i'm working i'm coming home sometimes i'm drinking mm. i'm so concentrating on work mm. drinking mm. Or other things which are not important mm. and so i think that's where she got the space of getting this boy so close mm. that even myself i could not get there mm. so the, the girl continued to to recruit the boy mm. The, the way I say it now, because the, after she left is when I realized the boy had also gone deep into mm. these things. Mm. Myself, I could not tell what it is. So uh, she recruited, she started recruiting the boy story by story. And here I am coming home, drinking late. Mm. And I remember one night I woke up. Again, I was woken up with this light eh, mm. that is beaming on the wall. And... There was a Bible. That time the Bible was opened. And the, the, the verse that was opened is the book of Isaiah. Mm. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Eh? Mm. That uh, the, the, the Bible talked about arise, verse 1, arise Jerusalem and shine like the sun. The glory of the Lord is shining on you. Uh, still I could not make out what was happening. So uh, I, I prayed a bit and she also woke up. And we started having this conversation where she would say, Lydia, you know, you, you are not worshipping, you, you are worshipping an extraordinary God. Mm. If your Bible is opened and you are getting all these messages, I believe your God is not an extraordinary one. Mm. And she started praying. And mm. you see, I'm drunk. I'm mm. staggering. Mm. I'm very drunk. Mm. This is the Bible. I'm drunk. I'm standing here on my bed. Yes, mm. my baby is peacefully asleep. Mm. And here is the girl sitting on the mattress. Mm. And so she arose and started put, She started praying mm. and put laying hands on me. Wow. And I felt this urge also coming from nowhere of mm. wanting to pray mm. and declaring the blood of Jesus Christ upon mm. her. And mm. so I put my hands also on her, mm. on her head. So mm. it's like Two powers which were fighting. Each other. Yes. And you see, I'm drunk, very drunk. Mm, but, but I God. started praying mm. so hard until she started trembling mm. and she fell on the mattress. Wow. Yes. Mm. And she said she felt weak. Mm. She just wanted to sleep. Mm. I still could not figure out what was happening. Yes. And okay. let us know, mm. was this girl astro-projecting? Mm. Uh, was... Um, were there strange things in your house? Because there is something, because I know I have heard your story. Mm -hmm. So I, I need you to explain to them those strange drawings that you would see mm -hmm. on the wall. Mm -hmm. And uh, and also how she would astro project and tell you that I was in, in this country. And she, she would wake up in the morning. Mm. And when I'm when I've woken up, you know, expect after sometimes she also wakes up and prepares the boy. Mm. So she would take so long. To wake up and mm. I would I would 
take, we could take like 30 to one hour trying to wake her up. And once she would wake up, she would tell me I was in Dubai. Mm -hmm. I was in, I'm coming from Nigeria, from a, a, a plane or mm. something. Mm. But still I could not figure out what oh. was happening. Mm. So she continued to go to her trips. Mm. Waking up was a struggle. Mm. But I remember, the, and me at work, I'm not doing well because I've been drinking at night. Here I am. This is work. It's a new job. Mm. So my performance was not all good, but mm. nobody could know what was happening. Mm. But I thank God because after some time, things started to reveal themselves because there was a time I would find my inner wares mm. with blood. blood. Mm. Yes. And I remember I would said him, her, to go, she would insist that she wanted to take the boy to the barber. Mm. So, and I realized when any time she would take the boy to the barber, she would come with the hair mm. of the boy mm -hmm. in a paper. Mm. And little did I know she had a bag under the bed, mm. a bag where she would put the hair of the boy. And sometimes even me, when I could comb my hair mm. in the morning or in the evening mm. and remove that and pile it in a tissue and throw it in the dustbin, mm. she would take that hair yeah. and put it in that bag. Mm. I don't know what else was in that bag. Mm. So here she, here I am, I'm not performing well. And now there was a time I felt a need and an urge to come home. But I also remember there was a time I sent us to buy some meat mm. and she went to a butchery, I don't know where, and she came with, some, uh, with meat. Mm. And when she cooked, the way it tasted, it was not tasting the normal beef or chicken or whatever. Mm. It was strange. Mm. And even the smell. And I asked her, how comes this meat is tasting? And she said, even me, I, I tasted it and it's not good. Mm. It tastes like a human meat. Mm. And I was shocked and I asked her, a human, Connie, have you ever tasted a human meat? You know? So mm. those jokes and um, we are playful because mm. we are also used to each other and I respected her mm. and I would allow her to be free in the house. So mm. we used to talk and no, I've never tasted, but this one, it doesn't taste well. And I asked her now that it doesn't taste well, has my son eaten the same meat? And mm. she said yes. Mm. And I told, asked her like how many pieces, like six. Mm. And the boy was sick again that night. Oh no. So... I also remember when I came from work one day, I, I went to work and I took some time off that morning. My instincts were telling me just go home. So I came home, I came back home around midday mm. and I found the girl was not there. And mm. I entered, my, my, the, my neighbor allowed me to her house and when we sat, she told me, have you ever known that there are women who come to your house where you are away? Mm. It's the same woman who had brought her to my house to work. From church? Yes, from church. Mm. I, I told that lady, no. But there are women who come to your house while you're working. And even sometimes they, they, they come, they take the boy from school and they come with, to, to the house with the boy. The boy. So uh, I believe there are things, the rituals, some rituals were happening. Mm. So, and the neighbor told me, uh, the, 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 she has not been behaving right. She's not okay. And then I asked her, "Did you know? Do you know where she went?" And I heard her saying she was going to buy a bag. She has not told me she's going. She's planning to go. Mm. But there was a time when I wanted the birth certificate of my son mm. from my rocky relationship with the dad. Mm. Now here I'm alone. I'm a single parent. I cannot access. The, the, the documents for even the school. Mm -hmm. So I needed a birth certificate. And I, I, I was there suffering, calling, making calls, where can I get a, a new birth certificate? And mm -hmm. she told me she had somebody. Kumbe, they wanted to go and change the birth certificate of my son so they can put the names that they, they wanted. Mm -hmm. So that did not happen because later when I was calling that number, I would hear people laughing at the background. Mm. So I knew somehow it was not genuine. So I stopped even pursuing the birth certificate. But here she is. She has come from wherever she was. I'm in the neighbor's house. I've come. She has opened the door. And she was shocked also to find me there at the door waiting for her. And she told me, why have you come so early? I told her, no, I just felt I cannot work. So when I went to the house, I had been praying that God 
to, to, to just find a way for me. Mm. I wanted to know God on a deeper, higher level. And also I was asking God of a spirit of discernment. Mm. But now that I'm not going to church, I'm not growing spiritually. So mm. I sat on my the bed, but I realized she, there was something she was talking. There was, there was some communication. She on was, the phone. Yes, always, mm. even at night. Mm. So sometimes I was tempted. Eh? Mm. You know, it's good when, you know, you the, want to see yes, what, you want to who see. she's communicating with. with. And mm. it's when I saw a message mm. saying we will kill her, her mm. son, and her family. Mm. And we'll bury her pride. Mm. So wow. that one shocked me. And things, for me, it was fear. Mm. I could not understand. I could not even process everything. Mm. And here I am living with this girl. How do I tell her to go? So that time, I, I when I came from work, remember, after getting from that lady's house, mm. I sat on my bed and we, ha we were having this conversation. And when I looked up, I saw so many signs which I had not seen before. Mm. You remember I'm coming home late. Mm. So there are so many writings on, on the, the roof. Mm. Demonic signs. Mm. So, because... Uh, you, you know, there are things you cannot figure out, but you mm. see even six, 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 they were all over the place. Mm. And there was also the picture I saw on the sphoria of an owl. Mm. And this time it was somehow carved, mm. a very big curve with, I don't know what she has used, she had used, eh? where mm. my son was sleeping. Mm. So anytime my boy would turn, he would see all those He joints. would look and the fever mm. would be transferred. Mm. And I remember even for me, when I would sleep sometimes, facing up, mm. I would look up and then I feel a very sharp, I could pain. feel a very sharp pain on my abdomen. Mm. Sorry. So we, for me, I took it, something is amiss because now you're not spiritual, you don't know anything mm. and there you are. So I called the neighbor and I felt, I told her, you have worked for me for some time and it's time, I feel like it's time for you to go. Mm. She started praying. Mm. There was other things. There were other things, very unusual things. I would see anytime she would fast. Mm. She would sleep on the floor. Mm. You know, she's covering herself, but I realized she was naked. Mm -hmm. So it was fasting and then sleeping on the floor naked. Mm -hmm. mm. And she would not eat for almost two weeks. And she's cooking for us. Mm. So my son and I, we continued to eat mm. her food. Mm. Little did we know what we were getting ourselves into. Mm. And yeah. then this uh, nasty experience where she she cut herself and she she made your baby to take the blood. Uh, there was a time she called me while she was at work huh? mm. and she told me, Mama Asha, like I've cut my hand. Mm. And I, I, I inquired, what has cut you? But the, my neighbor's window, you know, it was always opened. They had mm. a small baby, so they had to keep the fresh in the house. Mm. So, and did you tell the neighbor just to close the, the window, window a bit? She said no. So later, you know, later, later, much later, mm. it's when now my son, you know, she, he, the, she had brainwashed the boy, could not talk. But mm. already don't forget, she's teaching the boy all these things. Mm. Signs, uh She's telling also the boy how they'll be going to take blood to, 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 to fall the cast mm. and take people's blood. To cause accidents. Act, to cause accidents and take people people's blood. Mm. All those things she was teaching my son. That's why I think my son would not behave normal in mm. school. Mm. In school. So we continued. And when, when I released her from my house, when I released the girl from my house, she told me, make sure. You don't send my money on M-Pesa. I'm coming for my cash because I was getting money from somebody. Mm. And she, she I, I, I could not really withdraw. I, just God was protecting she me. She always wanted cash. Yes, she always wanted no cash. M-Pesa. No, no M-Pesa. Okay. That time, God caused delay. And mm. they, I could not withdraw money. Mm. And when I tried sending her immediately, it went. Mm. But don't forget, I remember, I, 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 I remember that during that time that I was drinking, God would still communicate. Mm. That light I was seeing, it's God who was communicating. And I even told her one day, one day when I woke up and saw that light, 
there was a very unusual feeling so mm. i woke up and that time the, the bible was talking about idolatry mm. and i was seeing the stories of elijah idolatry and i woke the girl up and asked her how comes today i'm waking up to the verses of idolatry what is really happening and then the girl said you know mama asha there 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 are people who are i believe there are people who are close to you mm. who are practicing idolatry But then I I I told her I don't have a close friend except those we drink with mm. and we are not so tight so I I don't I don't know and she now she tried to defend and cover everything mm. so that ended she went now life after the aftermath of the whole thing now was coming to me mm. because I there was fear mm. I, I was so fearful Mm. I could not stay in that house mm. because already everywhere and even blood I It could discover mm. yes and even under the bed mm. that there is a basket that was being put and I remember she would say in the house I, I somebody died from my family somebody died and I would tell her can I give you permission to go and bury and she would say no let them die let them die they will die all of them where was she coming from she she was brought up in mombasa mm. but even she had changed the names to fit of the kingdom if mm. if if i was a godly person from the word go mm. i would have no known because mm. even the name mm. Mm, wow. because she would call her name elina walenga saba mm. elina walenga saba she is targeting seven people mm. so after she left the the consequences of everything i could not know the impact i could now after she has left the impact of all these rituals and mm. everything so i called my mom and she told me don't stay there if that house has not been dedicated or has not been prayed on don't but i tried i went to you know i'm still searching god so i went to a nearby also another church mm. and i talked to the pastor's wife the same area and mm. i told her what i'm going through and she said we'll come in the evening to pray mm. but they also had fear mm. they came to pray now they are coming to pray but they have fear and mm. me i have a spirit an evil spirit in me mm. and there's also the spirit of god that mm. that evil spirit that had been transferred by this girl so mm. they came to the house mm. to pray and they are trying to pray and i'm here attacking them mm. Oh I understand. And fears things and I'm telling them you cannot pray for me. Mm. You are one of me. So mm. the, so they were scared. Mm. And they are people of God. So mm. they ran away. So I was left again alone. Mm. So that night I we slept with my son. Mm. And the following morning I called at work and I said I'll not manage. I took some time off. I'm going through something. Mm. The, the employer my employer is very understanding. Mm. So I took my son home. Mm. and my parents told me just come home we begin afresh and that's when now we went back home at my village mm. and i stayed there for a few days and still i was being attacked at night i could not sleep mm. i could see these people coming after my soul coming mm. after my son mm. things that were happening it's raining outside it's not raining noises people mm. laughing you cannot tell what mm. was really happening mm. so my mom also she is no spiritual but she's prayerful mm. so we stayed we stayed together we, we, we stayed with my parents too for some time and i remember one day she took me to a priest a man of god around you know our, our home is moranga mm. so she took me to keno mm. yeah mm. keno uh, kabati around there mm. and when i was pray when that man of god was praying for me my spirit was not at rest i could tell this is not a man of god, a man of god. Yeah, the, spirit the spirit that is in me mm. that this girl transferred could identify it, yes you are one girl. of me so why are you praying for me mm. so my mom was disturbed and we went back home and i said god this has gone too far mm. i need to take matters into my own hands so mm. i took myself i i decided now this is self deliverance because i cannot start any pastor praying for me mm. i cannot start those prophets because i don't trust anybody mm. remember the first church i went 
the teachings. Yeah, and, and that's why you landed on this house help. The second one, we mm. went whereby they came and ran away. Mm. And here the one for Kabati. Mm. The and, one from the Marine Kingdom. Mm-hmm. Mm. So I refused. And I said, no, this is me with God. My, my son let him remain here. Mm. And I'll go back to Nairobi. Mm. That house was locked seven times before I could access it. And I had paid the rent. I could not understand. It was locked seven times. Anytime I'd want to access, they could not allow me in. Yet I have paid the rent of that month. So I, I continued suffering. I moved, I, I tried to contact my sister, my brothers, my, to move to the, with them. They refused because if they, at night I'm making a lot of noise mm. and I'm praying and I'm crying to God and asking, where is this God? Mm. Just come and save me and give me peace. But I could not pray. So they refused I stay with them. So I could go to work. I could sometimes even sleep on the streets because mm. I'm afraid. I was totally afraid. And these things are continuing to walk on me all the time. That we are following you. You mm. are one of us. Mm. Where are you going? You are mm. one of us. We own you. All the, everywhere this noise is coming. And yet I'm not the one who entered into that kingdom. Mm, they, you were just initiated. In, initiated. Mm. And when I went back home, I could see my son isolating himself and blocking one of his eyes. Making satanic sins. Yes. And even the Baphomet signs, all those signs, my son would do them. And he started isolating himself. He don't want to play with others. And you'd fight like he's communicating to us something, which mm. I also don't, could not tell. Mm. So I had to go deep salvation and seek God fasting. At a personal level. Yes, at a personal level because I cannot stand any man of God mm. to lay hands on me mm. and I don't want to be put through this thing. Mm. But then God was working and his glory was shining on me. Mm. And that light, God reminded me. There's a verse in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 54. Uh, 54. Verse? Verse 4 and 5. Mm. Uh, I would read the Bible and God will tell me all the time, do not be afraid. You'll not be disgraced again. You'll not be humiliated. You'll forget your unfaithfulness as a young wife mm. and your desperate loneliness as a widow. Mm. Your creator will be like a husband to you. The Lord Almighty is it's his name. name. The Holy God of Israel yeah. will save you. He's the ruler of all the world. Mm. And anytime I would read verses, God would reveal his words and his voice to me. Mm -hmm. And I would have so much peace. But I can continued fasting and praying. So when I sat down with my son, because the more, the more I'm praying, the more I'm fasting, my son started now talking. And it's when she, he told me, you know that day, Mama, my auntie cut herself. Mm -hmm. She took a razor blade and mm -hmm. cut herself from the whole arm. Mm -hmm. And Mom, she sprinkled the blood on the floor. And mm -hmm. she told me to, to kuramba, I don't know, to lick, to lick all that blood. Ah. And I licked it, mama. And then, hotel. So I'm, see, so I'm getting all this information. And now I am now getting familiar that this is the world of darkness that we were being put in. Anytime I would have a sitting with the boy, he would give me very weird stories. And it would even traumatize as a mother. Because mm. for me, I was living, I thought I was leaving the boy in safe hands. And here he is mm. being introduced to a world which is so, so innocent. Mm. Uh, for me, and I was even mad with God because I am trying to pursue you, God. And here things are happening. And there was one time I broke down and I went to on, the, on his bed uh, and I found him inserting a small finger mm. inside his body. And oh. he's enjoying the moment. Oh. And that time I knew now this is too much for me. And I continued to pray. I never gave up. I continued to pray and fasting. I never gave up. And I wanted to see God myself. Did you try to talk to him about it and ask how he got to do that? No, there was one time it had happened while they were living with the house girl. Mm -hmm. Because he... he you know the way the child comes and jumps on you once you come from work. Eh? Mm. And I felt some type of smell. If mm. you are keen, you can tell. And mm. then the baby is all over you. The child is all over you. So mm. I felt that smell. And I asked the boy. 
And I asked, what's that? Oh, you smell funny. And then the, 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 the aunt laughed. I'm saying, oh, ana cheka ni kama ameweka kidole ilikuwa mahali nyeti. What does that mean? Like he, he, he smells as if he had inserted the finger in his uh, anus. Mm. So for me it was very hurtful as a parent, but I did not give up. I continued to pray. I traveled looking for churches. Mm. I would go Thika Road. Thika Road TRM behind there's a church out here it's the worship god and due to the what i was going through i could not enter the church i was very weak and mm. what i realized is that it's like almost every church almost 99% i can say 90 let me say just give it 90% mm. people have corrupted the body of christ Mm. And I think it's the journey that God was taking me through. No not not in a church I would enter the the few I went that time mm. that the body of Christ was clean. Mm. So I was seeking this God, I need deliverance. I'm not yet there. I'm fasting. I'm doing things and that things are happening. And story by story God started giving me deliverance. Mm. And my son also started also i i started praying and letting us he us pray together but even my family nobody they deserted me because they thought i had entered into a cult never in my life had i ever thought of getting wealth or getting the things of this world through mm. cult practices mm. even though i was not born again mm. i there was a way ahead my own way my own beliefs as a christian and my mom also would say always that teach the teach your children the ways of god and when they are uh, they grow oh, up they'll never they depart, depart from them mm -hmm. that was always in my mind and so i knew that was what i would do to my son so slowly we started communicating with my son teaching him praying sometimes letting even us do small small fasting because he's a child and slowly by slowly god delivered us Amen. and i forgive her I forgive mm. the girl because mm. that's the she, first step of deliverance. Yes. Mm. So you forgive the girl. Yes, I forgive the girl mm. because what she brought to me, it's something that I can I cannot trade with anything because mm. she brought salvation on my door. Mm. And even today, I've never remembered that. I remember it because it, it's a testimony. I remember it any time I'm sharing, but. To me, she brought salvation. Mm. And were it not for God, I would have died. Mm. And I remember God walking me through this glory whereby it's like I was not living with normal people. Mm. Yes, my body is here, but I'm in another world where God is lifting me. And he would take me to vehicles and he would show me how people have defiled vehicles. Mm. The, the writings, what, 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 no, those vehicles are not clean mm. he would also take me that matatu business There's yes so the much matatu witchcraft. business yes mm. and i remember also the people whom i would sit with god took me to this journey where i started walking in his glory mm. and it's no you know days are moving mm. no it's like no the second year mm. you know all those for three years from 2016 2017 2018 mm. we we had been possessed together mm. with my son Mm. And things were not okay. Mm. But now God took me to another level. Mm. I've not gotten God born again yet, but he took me to another level of walking in his glory, whereby I would see things I've never seen. I mm. would talk to him. He would talk to me. He would wake me up and pray. And slowly by slowly, I found peace. Mm. And I've never remembered anything wrong about that lady and it surprises me because even my son she can remember all other aunts but she cannot remember that particular one mm. because it's like god washed away the memory mm. and you see even the meat that we ate mm. it was not meat mm. and even cats around would disappear you know mm. so she was deep into that kingdom very deep but mm. i have i forgave her mm. and i allowed god to heal me yeah mm. yeah hey, forgive forgive those people that wrong you and the bible says we should love our enemy not to send uh, things back to sender 
yeah so wow we have been so so much blessed uh, with your testimony and i hope parents out there have learned personally it it, it has really opened my eyes mm-hmm. yeah to understand that we should not trust anyone with our anyone children. With our children yeah and then when we begin to see strange things that's when we should act immediately. Yes, and always mm. follow your intuition, your mm. instincts. You know, these things, they are spiritual. Mm. You feel them mm. and you can see them, but you're not acting. Always mm. follow your intuition. Mm. Yeah. If you had acted immediately when the baby began to fall sick, yes. these things wouldn't have continued. But we thank God for you. Thank yes. God you, you have taken that uh, courage to come and share your experience. And I know someone out there has been helped. Yes. Yeah, so friends, don't forget to comment. Let us know what you think about everything that we post. You can also share to a parent so that uh, they can also be helped. Like, you can subscribe. Just let us know uh, whatever you think about uh, all the testimonies that we upload. And we know that lives are being helped. Yeah, so my sister, we have been blessed. Amen. Thank you so much for sharing your experience. Amen. May God bless you. May he restore everything that the Amen. enemy has Story. stolen from yes. you. Mm. But now I know there is a parent mm. who needs your prayer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe the child has been initiated and uh, they, they are struggling just like you struggled. Mm. And because you have overcome, I feel you have the grace mm. to pray for that parent mm-hmm. and that child that has been initiated. Okay. So before we conclude this uh, session, I would just request that you pray for somebody. Yeah. For, okay, thank you, You're Sister welcome. Erica. Mm. First, I would say this. Huh? Mm. Don't rely on people when mm. it comes to matters related on your salvation. Matters to do with your salvation. Mm. Go approach God personally. Because mm. when, that, when that curtain was torn into two, mm. it gave us permission. Mm. And there you don't need an appointment for you to go to talk to God. Mm. So make it a personal issue. Mm. So that's how you are able to deal with it. Mm. And even for your child, anytime you leave that house, don't be so comfortable mm. out there. Take time out, even in your, in your busy schedule, mm. to talk and pray for that child and cover that child with the blood of Jesus Christ. Mm. Because you could be there, do, being busy with work, being busy with life, mm. and your child is being put in a compromising situation, and it will ruin her, or mm. he or her, mm. he or she, when they grow up. Mm. I also realized sometimes we even tend to blame the lesbians and homosexuals, those people. Mm. I, we should not judge, because what if I had not discovered this child mm. when everything was happening because now the insertion of a finger mm. and he's enjoying the act what if i had not discovered mm. and being able to pray about it mm. what could have happened mm. what could or how that boy could have grown mm. and become mm. no he's a big boy he's mm. good normal mm. and even i've been teaching him the ways of god mm. allow that child to go to sunday school mm. and in everything put god first mm. because he's above all Mm. And he can see. And he owns you. And he owns me. And he owns all of us. Mm. Yeah. And so, even in Sunday school, make sure you, you find out what content yes. the children have been given. Because even those Sunday schools, ah, they are, the devil also sends agents there. Even in schools also, there are agents in schools. I've had situations where parents, uh, there is a parent who came to me and, and the son was trying to to sodomize the brother. And later she found out that this boy had been taught uh, those things in school. In the school library when she went, she found out that they had uh, books that were teaching children to be gay. So parents, you have to really watch out for your children. Yes, it's good we have to work and secure a bright future for them, but be mindful of the people you're securing futures for. You may be securing a future for for someone who doesn't exist yeah. if you don't watch out for your children. So I know I know somebody has learned something. Uh, there is a, another brother who also told me about a house help who used to abuse him sexually. Every time the mother would go to work, 
this house help will come and sleep with this boy and the, the house help was older than his mother so this boy grew up hating women and uh, because of what had happened to him he would find himself with old women and uh, even the one he married he was mistreating her because of the torture that he went through he did not marry her out of love but it's because that is what he was initiated into so we prayed with him now he's delivered he's happily married and he has children so parents you have to watch out for your kids yeah my sister you you need to pray for these parents and their children okay mm. let's pray yeah our dear Heavenly Father, mm. thank you for this moment that God you have granted to us mm. just to glorify you with this testimony mm. and also God to bring others to know and to pray for their children. Mm. God, I pray for mothers mm. out there that mm. God, you may let them know you and mm. that they know that deliverance mm. that comes from you, Almighty God. Mm. Thank you for who you are, God. Thank you for everything you have continued to do in our lives. Mm. I pray for those children who have been affected mm. or even who are who are being ruined in the hearts of house girls. Mm. The Lord, you may have mercy on them mm. and the Lord, your power will manifest in their lives. Mm. Thank you for who you are, God, and the place you hold in our lives. Mm. I cover every child with the blood of Jesus Christ mm. and I pray also for parents, the mm. Lord, they may help the children to know your ways mm. and to guide them to your kingdom because mm. only in you, God, that we can find safety and protection for our children and mm. even us. Mm. So God, I, we, we say thank you for everything and mm. it is in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ we pray. Mm. Amen. 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 Life is spiritual. We love you. Stay blessed. Mama Maisha and... Mama Ashagad. Yes. Witchcraft and Spiritual Warfare The awesome third part of the Erica Testimonial Series In this edition, Erica exposes witchcraft and reveals how it can be defeated and overcome in the name of Jesus. Everything you are going through now has an origin, and that origin can be dealt with, but you must know how. Find out in Erica Part 3, Witchcraft and Spiritual Warfare, and overcome every obstacle in Jesus' name. Yeah, praise God, viewers. I just want to take this opportunity to thank you for uh, supporting our ministry, for liking, sharing, uh, subscribing, and, and commenting. We really always look forward to hearing from you. Uh, for those whose messages haven't been responded to, we just want to take this opportunity to apologize. It's, it's just overwhelmingly too much. We have so many messages. So what we have decided to do is to come, because we find that most of these messages are repeated, like people ask the same questions. So we shall be picking different topics and discussing those topics, depending on the questions that are being asked. Also, we'll get a day where we'll just go through all some of the messages, not all of them, and we'll be answering in a video so that uh, we help as many people as possible. For those of you who want to buy our books, our books are available on Amazon Kindle and our website www.lifespiritual.org. You can also find them in Uganda Bookshop, a Joy Bookshop, and a Restock Bookshops in Uganda. And uh, if you want to bless any guest that we invite on our platforms, you have our website information on the screen below. It is info at lifespiritual.org. The PayPal account is info at lifespiritual.org. You can also send donations through SendWeb and World Remit uh, on the numbers that are running on the screen. Avoid people who come into the comment section asking you for money. Uh, for prayers or prophesying and, and requesting that you donate uh, to them. We have foundations in Uganda and in Kenya. The only platform on which you can find information about our foundation is uh, www.lifespiritual.org. We do not have any account on Facebook. We don't have any account on Twitter, Instagram, and all those other platforms. So avoid getting conned. Otherwise, we love you so, so much. May God richly bless you. 
Thank you. We wouldn't have grown without your support, without your prayers, without your love. And just feel free to always ask, comment, share, subscribe. Please send these videos to other people so that they can also learn. May God richly bless you. We love you so much. Mama Maisha. You're